calendar rolls on in NEC play, and we've got a good Monday night matchup as the St. Francis Red Flash take on the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers. St. Francis and St. Francis, the Red Flash lose the opening tip, and right off the bat, it's Ebony Horton who gets the bucket for the Terriers. Dominique Ward, pinch post, pure. Yeah, that's the soft spot in the zone, just watching, you know, the red flash play. That foul line area is open a lot, and, you know, the uh, Terriers have to attack the foul line just like they did all night long. Kovac blocked be from behind by Pallarino, but gets her own miss, then tries to feed it towards Thomas. Swagger, wide open three, air balls it, and then Morrow cleans it up, and Carson Swagger is saying, hey, that was a pass the whole time. <laughs> She can shoot the ball, she can handle it, she can get to it. Like, she fills a stat sheet, right? There's, she'll score, she'll rebound, she'll assist, she'll have some steals. Mia Ealing drains the three. With the offensive board, Kovac lets it fly, not that time. Offensive board, Swagger, she gets it to go. A great board in traffic. There were three Terriers there and she came down with that rebound and you gotta love the finish off the glass. No, not at all. You know, I, I think they're rushing some shots because the Terriers are coming out and closing out on them hard. And, you know, right now, I think they're just doing a good job defensively. Now they just got to finish it out, rebounding it. Amy O'Neill gets it to go. Four points for Morrow. Pallarino back out to Johnson. She lets it go, swirling it in. Great inside out basketball. I love the turn and face and finding the shooter in the corner. Kovac, the awkward shot and hits it. How do you stop that? Well, court. Last in over Zaza. What a great post feed by Horton. Anytime you feed the post, you want to find the defense and throw it away from the defense. That's a great, great assist there by Horton. Look towards the foul line a little bit more defensively here, taking away that foul line with her big. Horton steps into a three and grooves it in. That's Ward going inside out, finding the open shooter. They're collapsing at the foul line to try to take it out. Their jump shots are going to be there on inside out play. Well, she has an opportunity to be the conference's all-time leading scorer, men's or women's. And eight points away from 2,500. O'Neal, she hit a three in the first half and hits one in the second half. And right now it's reaching its peak. Johnson, she's feeling it. Uh, the red flash have to find Johnson. It was one of the keys to the game to find her and make her shots more difficult. But you gotta, you gotta love the fact that the Terriers are yeah, finding the hot hand and keep feeding it. St. Francis Brooklyn knocking down eight of 10 from the floor in the third quarter to outpace the Red Flash, 21-10. Johnson, does she have it again? She does! And one! Stay hot, Jade Johnson. Two minutes gone by, fourth quarter. Johnson, a three, again! Come on, Jade Johnson! Another three, she's got 21, 18 in the second half. Here's Ward on Kovac, no. and she gets the roll. Oh, and that's, that's the backbreaker. That's a strength right there, and that's gonna be something that the Terriers can go through all year long at the end of a shot clock. Fire it down the court, Abby Anderson takes it, and that will do it. St. Francis Brooklyn with a strong second half, picks up their third conference win, in four conference matches to improve to nine and seven overall, three and one in conference play. Meanwhile, the Red Flash fall to six and 10 and pick up their first NEC loss of the year to go to six and 10 and three and one.